today it is the world malaria day so the why it is known as world malaria day because even today in different parts of the world the malaria uh, is transmitted the people are suffering from malaria what is this malaria actually the malaria is the word derived from mal area mal area means bad air so in the beginning we the people they thought that it is due to bad air now we know it is not due to bad air it is the disease transmitted from man to man through the bite of infective female anopheles mosquito it is not infected it is infective that uh, female anopheles mosquito all uh, mosquitoes cannot transmit malaria <clears throat> all anopheles mosquitoes also cannot transmit malaria female mosquitoes bite suck blood and transmit malaria only certain species of female anopheles mosquitoes can transmit malaria for example anopheles culicifacis it is a species of the anopheles mosquito transmitting malaria in a different uh, uh, taluks in tumkur district why i am telling tumkur district tumkur district is endemic area certain uh, taluk certain villages chikanaikana halli thuruve kere nonavina kere you know kere means tank so the breeding place anopheles mosquito breeds in clear water clean water where there is collection of clear water maybe tank pond lake rice field you know the people they plow the land <clears throat> and then they implant the paddy plant and there will be gentle movement of clear water and there is protection that is provided by the paddy plant till the paddy plant attains the height of 1 foot it is an ideal breeding place for anopheles mosquito to breed so there will be transmission season and then malaria season and then the people suffer from malaria malaria means everybody they think that no they everybody know that malaria means it is fever fever with chills fever with chills like this and uh, why the people and before going to the details and uh, there are different species of malaria just now i told you the different uh, species of the anopheles mosquito which is transmitting malaria and malaria also malaria parasite everything is not same there are different species of anopheles there are different species of the malaria parasite <coughs> plasmodium is the species plasmodium vivax that is the species of the malaria parasite extremely common in india more than 70% of malaria in india is due to plasmodium vivax next is the very dangerous uh, species of the malaria parasite which can cause cerebral malaria and it can it is a killer disease cerebral malaria almost it is uh, comparable to it is described as brain fever also and the person can die due to cerebral malaria so the species of the this uh, malaria parasite which causes cerebral malaria is plasmodium falciparum and then the next is the mixed infection 20 to 25% of malaria is due to plasmodium falciparum 8 to 10% of malaria is due to mixed infection plasmodium vivax and plasmodium falciparum only 1% is due to plasmodium malaria now we can say that almost nil and then plasmodium ovale extremely rare not uh, described uh, in india so these are all the four different species of malaria parasite so uh, and very common is as i said plasmodium vivax so when the person develop fever with chills then he will go to the health worker in fact the health worker he will be doing the surveillance so he will give house to house visit and ask certain questions anybody is suffering from fever anybody is suffered from fever any friends or relatives suffering or suffered from fever if the answer is yes he will take the smear you know the this ring finger or the thumb these two fingers these three fingers he will not prick these two fingers are safe so he will prick and he will take both thick and thin smear on the same slide and he will give presumptive treatment what is presumptive treatment he will presume that fever is due to malaria and he will give presumptive treatment <coughs> then 
he will submit the slides to the laboratory in primary health center laboratory technician mean he will stain the smear examine the slide and if it is positive what is the species he will give the report and then uh, that health worker he will go to the same village same person and he will give radical treatment i will not go into the detail of uh, what is uh, uh, the radical treatment because it is different in different areas because the just like the anopheles mosquito has developed resistance to insecticide say once upon a time say before uh, 1953 in india 75 million cases of malaria 75 million cases of malaria and 8 lakhs deaths per year then as a result of simply spraying ddt the people uh, spray gang they used to enter the house spray ddt on the surface and it is known as surface spray merely by spraying ddt the malaria was brought down from 75 million cases and 8 lakhs deaths to hardly 2 million cases and no deaths in 1958 so the government uh, changed over from national malaria control program to national malaria eradication program but unfortunately in the later part of the 60s again uh, there is a resurgence of malaria i will not go into the detail of uh, reasons for resurgence of malaria friends even now malaria is there please disseminate the information regarding what is malaria and then uh, how it is transmitted and then the treatment is available and it is curable radical treatment is available and it is curable please pass on this information to everybody sarve jana sukhino bhavatu sarve jana swasthi bhavatu thank you